abc.com slash daytime. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't call you before, but I was surrounded. Listen, now what happened over there? Did Jill say anything? No, no, not, not so far. But are you sure, Dee? Well, I think uh, maybe uh, someone would have mentioned it to me if she did. Uh, Dee, Jill said that uh, she saw you and Roger in bed together. How about that? Uh, yeah, I, I suppose so, but I still don't trust Jill to keep her mouth shut. Look, Roger, I haven't got much time. Now, I need to see you. All right, if I can get away now, are you going to be there? Yeah, I'll be here. Oh, and by the way, don't worry about the passkey. I threw it away, so nobody's ever going to interrupt us again. Okay. Fifteen minutes. Okay? Okay. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye. I think this message is for me. I, I can't read it. Did you write this? Oh, yeah, um, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I wrote that in eyebrow pencil. <laughs> uh, Mary was trying to reach you. Uh, she was upset about something. Oh, did she say what it was about? Well, it was something about the, uh, nursing home. Ah, yeah, well, I'll try to get it tonight after the meeting, if it doesn't run too late. Uh, where are you going? Oh. Oh, I'll be right back. You see, uh, they're having this, uh, sale on pantyhose, and I don't know, I thought I'd stock up, you know, save you a lot of money and everything. Really, it'll save you plenty. Okay, but uh, how, how about little John? I have to go out myself. Oh, May's downstairs with him, and uh, she's feeding him ice cream and singing him songs. Really, Frank, I'll just be 20 minutes. Okay, well, I guess that'll be all right. Frank? Hmm? I'm only doing this for you. Just when she trusts him. I had fun last night. He's accused of murder. I'm being set up. This week. I was trying to protect you. That's not your job. Will Kendall stand by Griffin? I have to say something here. Watch All My Children weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. Just can't stop thinking about it. A father struggles with a tragedy. How can I help you? This week. No one could ever replace Jake. A child can give you life focus. You would make an amazing father. A new hope. Watch General Hospital weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. I'll take these. Love those jeans. $175. Cha-ching. Excuse me? Ever consider showing your customers what other stores charge for jeans? Um... No. When it comes to car insurance, Progressive Direct does. I saved hundreds when switching. That's a lot. The jeans are skinny. The savings are fat. Out there with a better way. Now that's progressive. I confess, I'm not perfect. I can't sew, knit, or crochet. 
My hairdresser knows things about me. I don't even tell my best friend. Sometimes I buy flowers for myself. I admit I might have flaws, but this isn't one of them. Your moment, your dove. Also available in large bar and singles. Do your lashes want volume or length? How about both? With CoverGirl Lash Blast Fusion. A mascara for lashes that want it all, all at once. Our biggest brush meets our fiber stretch formula to bring you a blast of volume and length. Lashes that want it all want Lash Blast Fusion. From easy, breezy, beautiful, CoverGirl. Now you can make a splash with new water-resistant Lash Blast Fusion. The Gerber generation is spreading their love for fruits and veggies. Gerber Nature Select Fruits and Veggies. From our growers' farms to your baby's high chair. Join the Gerber generation on Facebook. The Gerber generation is all for balanced nutrition. Only graduates Lil Entrees has protein, grains, and a side of veggies. Plus a taste that's totally toddler. Join the Gerber generation on Facebook. And unfortunately, while there have been related cases in the courts in Virginia and in New Jersey, nothing has been handled in New York. And my case is being tried in New York. Exactly. Now, there is legislation pending to change the legal definition of death to include brain death, in which case what you did would no longer be considered a crime. But it's only pending. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Now, look, that doesn't mean that we can't raise the issue to when Nell actually died. But I'm afraid we are at a disadvantage trying to get the courts to accept a definition of death that has not been legally recognized yet. Well, I wish it wouldn't sound so much like we were having a legal fencing match. Well, I'm afraid that's exactly what it is. That's why you were being represented by an attorney. Bucky. Bucky, hey, come Hi. on, sit down. Well, how did it go with the DAs? Well, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> well, do you have any idea how it went? All I know is that after three hours of answering questions, I'm tired and I'm scared and I'm mad. Well, uh, what was he asking? Oh, it wasn't so much what he was asking, it was how he was asking. I mean, he kept on going over and over all the events that led up to Nell's death. All right, and, and how was he asking? Oh, well, business-like, pleasant, quiet, and very well organized. Bucky, why would that make you mad or scared? I, oh, I don't know. I, I guess because it was so absolutely implacable. You know, I mean, uh, he wouldn't let anything go without hearing every detail at least twice. Thorough. <laughs> you better believe it. Okay, look, Bucky, did he show any interest in any, uh, any particular areas? Yeah, he was terribly interested in everything Seneca said between the time uh, Nell came out of surgery and when she died, you know, about, uh, about having the respirator disconnected. But he didn't want to hear anything about what Nell said before that, about uh, being horrified at the idea of being kept alive by a machine. No, no, look, don't worry about that. I mean, that'll all come out in the court. But any other areas of special interest? Uh, yeah. Yeah. He wanted to know everything about Seneca's marriage. Uh, things like, um, why Nell came to New York without you? What's that got to wait, do wait, with wait, anything? Wait a minute, wait a minute. What exactly was he asking? Everything about when Seneca and Nell first got married, how they got along and all that. He covered every year right up until now. And what'd you tell him? Not much. Uh, in the first place, I was just a kid when you were married, right? In the second place, how much of it had I heard firsthand? I mean, uh, I'd heard family gossip, but uh, that's just hearsay, isn't it? Pure and simple. I tried to answer everything with as few words as possible. Okay, but you were cooperative. Oh, absolutely. I just uh, didn't volunteer anything. Good. Very good. You did exactly right. Yeah, except... Uh, that he wound up by warning me that if I wasn't more cooperative, he'd ask the court to have me declared a hostile witness. Now, I don't know what that means, but it doesn't sound don't very good. Don't worry about it. Well, would it hurt Seneca if it happened? Not in the least. The most the DA could do would be able to ask uh, leading questions. You know, questions beginning with, wasn't it or didn't it? That's all. As long as your answers were truthful and responsive, well, that's all. Look, Bucky, he cannot badger you. He cannot do anything to you. And your loyalty to Seneca might help us with the jury. Well, that's something anyway. 
thing I'm really worried about are all the questions about Nella and Seneca's marriage. Why? Because I think that Levine might be on to something. Seneca, is there anything that I don't know? I mean, something that you haven't told me? Hi. I can't stay too long. Oh, I don't know what it is about you. It's not me. It's not me. It's you. Look, I made us a pair of margaritas. Oh, Roger, you're so bad. Oh, well, I made them with vodka, so no one will ever know. Well, I'll know. Look, uh, with the way I'm feeling, one of those is just going to... Anything could happen? Now, stop that! I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. It's not that I don't want to. Well, I, I thought that we had something very special. We do. Very special. I was so afraid that Jill was going to ruin everything. Roger, please. And just when I found you... Now, stop it! Really, I mean it. I didn't come over here for this. While you're here. Look, you're getting me very mad. Now, stop it. I mean it. Please. What's going on? Just stop it. I want to tell you something. I'm sorry. Uh, fire away. Jill isn't going to tell. That's what you said. Yeah, she knows that things are better between Frank and me. And she came to Ryan's and uh, she had a talk with Maeve. Is that the reason? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they are better. But uh, what does that mean in terms of you and me? It doesn't mean anything in terms of the way I feel about you. Exactly how do you feel about me, Dee? I love you. I love being here with you. This apartment has been like a make-believe place full of beautiful things and really beautiful moments. Well, then why are you making it sound like goodbye? Oh, could you just listen to me for two minutes without interrupting me or touching me, please? D do I have to? You don't even understand how scared I am, do you? But you said Jill wasn't going to say anything. No, that isn't what I said. It's because of Frank. If she sees us together, she will tell. Well, then we won't let her see us. No. No, it's too dangerous. Really, um... It's not like I'm saying we shouldn't ever see each other again. We're just taking too many damn chances, that's all. I don't want to get you in any trouble. Thank you. Well, look, we can, we can find a, a place where we can meet. No. I'll rent an apartment. No! Well, why not? What I'm trying to tell you is we're gonna get caught. Listen, if we, uh, if we stop seeing each other, how long does that have to last? I don't know. Are you just being kind? Is this a, a gentle way of breaking things off completely? Roger. I've had some of the happiest moments of my life here. And I'm sad that I'm not going to be able to come here anymore. Look, it's just as hard on me as it is on you. But I don't want to risk losing my family, my marriage, everything. We're just taking too many chances. But I don't want to let you go. I don't want to go. Then don't. I don't have any choice. I mean, there isn't any. I'm sorry. Look, in a couple of days, when you realize that Jill isn't going to say anything, it's all going to be better, Dee. I can't give you up. I'm not saying goodbye forever. I don't want you to say goodbye at all. Can't you understand why I have to do this? Then you have to understand why I'll do everything I can so you won't do this. Why are you making this so difficult for me? Please, stop it. 
I've lost a lot in the last few weeks. And I'm not going to lose you. No, you're not going to lose me. We just have to be more sensible. But we will see each other once in a while, won't we? Yes. You mean that? Yes. I hope it's soon. I hope so, too. If you think about it, Maybe you'll understand. You know, I'm not promising that I will be. I'm not going to promise anything. We loved each other, and we wanted this baby. He's not my boy. This week, a big decision. So I guess maybe we should just move on. But an unexpected secret. There's something that I need to tell you. Could change it all. About the baby. Watch One Life to Live, weekdays on ABC, and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. Beautiful skin needs protection. Introducing Venus Pro Skin with moisture-rich shave gel bars. Enhanced with a triple blend of body butters that create a layer of protection for your skin with every close stroke. Leaving your skin beautifully smooth and your goddess just beautiful. New Venus Pro Skin Moisture Rich. Reveal the goddess in you. Special K Protein Shakes. A truly great tasting breakfast shake. With 10 grams of protein and five grams of fiber, it's the creamy, delicious way to satisfy your hunger to help you lose weight. So you can kick the tin can habit. Try Special K Protein Shakes today. Want more of your favorite soaps? That's great. Log on to abc.com slash daytime. Watch current full episodes of All My Children, General Hospital, and One Life to Live. Online critics love it. Plus, get exclusive sneak peeks of what's coming up next. Sounds like a thumbs up to me. Connect with other fans to discuss what's on your mind. I always want to hear what you have to say. And check out the 101 galleries to get an intimate look at the history of your favorite characters. That's the best news I've heard all day. Find it all now at abc.com slash daytime. There is nothing I haven't told you. Okay. Now, is there anything that Levine could know that I don't know? I mean, the last thing that we need in this trial are surprises. Hey, listen, I gotta check in at the hospital, okay? I'll see <laughs> yeah, you all right, Bucky. Bucky, thanks. I'll look for you after we finish up here. Hey, how are you, Bucky, old buddy? <laughs> hey, Kevin. Take it easy. Right over. Good, good doctor. You look upset. Yeah. Yeah, and with cause. I mean, the DA wasn't just fishing when he was asking all of those questions. He is on to something. I mean, I think he's trying to, to prove that you had a bad marriage, an unhappy marriage that lasted for years. And when you finally had a chance to get out of that marriage, without risk, you grabbed it. Now, you know that's nonsense. Seneca, how many people know about the differences between you and Nell? And I don't only mean here, I mean in Minnesota that could testify firsthand, having seen or heard the two of you going at it in some way or another. Yeah, well, actually, I have to admit, uh, there'd be quite a few. Nell and I weren't ones to hide our quarrels under a bushel basket. OK. And how many people could testify firsthand to the reconciliation that took place a few months before Nell died? OK. Your Bucky, your father. Well, I'm afraid he is not going to do us very much good. OK, oh, wait a minute. Let me think. I'll think of some. Hold on. I begin to see the problem, Counselor. Yeah. So let's go back to Minnesota. How bad did things get between you and Nell? Well, there was a period of three weeks when we didn't speak, if that's the kind of thing you mean. Oh, Seneca. What? Look, 
I'm sorry to have to ask this question, but did either of you ever have an affair? Did you or did Mel? How are you doing? Hello. Hey, Frank. Hey, Frank. How, are How are you? Fine. Am I interrupting? No, no, not really. How's the campaign going? Oh, very well. Uh, we got some informal polling going on, and uh, my chance is looking really good. Oh, terrific. <laughs> Frank, that's wonderful. Yeah. Very good news. I can see I'm interrupting you. Thanks. So, I'll be seeing you. Hey, listen, uh, you have my vote. That is, uh, if I'm still eligible to vote. Yeah, well, that gives me two good reasons for wishing you good luck. Bye-bye. Thanks, Frank. Uh, you were talking about an affair. Well, it's, um... Uh... Not uncommon in an unhappy marriage. I mean, one person punishing the other or simply a protest against an unrewarding situation. I don't think there was anything like that with us. You aren't sure? I'm sure about myself. As far as Nell's concerned. Maybe it's male ego, but I don't think she did anything. You're absolutely sure about this. I mean, Seneca, this could be very important. Well, there was a time when I thought something might be going on between Nell and your father, but... She insisted I was wrong. I believed her. As for myself, I'm sure. Then what's Levine after? Well, uh, there could be one other thing. Well, Seneca, what? Back in Minnesota, I had a co-worker, a rather attractive doctor named Harriet Hill, who Nell disliked intensely, and it was quite mutual. And? Well, when Nell came back to New York, I saw Harriet a few times. That was some gossip. Just gossip. You did not have an affair. Did not. Did not. <sighs> well, I can't believe that Levine would waste all that time on a lot of gossip. Well, I have no idea what he's after. Well, I'm afraid that he is looking for a motive. I mean, something to suggest that you had a reason for killing Nell. A reason? <sighs> is that why he asked for an indictment of murder in the first degree? He thought I wanted to kill Nell? And, and, and when I had the opportunity? Seneca, yes. I mean, look, I thought you understood all that. No. No, I didn't. Next, take a trip to the Upper West Side on Ryan's Hope. Later, spend some time in Genoa City with the Young and the Restless, only on SoapNet. Just can't stop thinking about it. A father struggles with a tragedy. How can I help you? This week. No one could ever replace Jake. No child can give you life focus. You would make an amazing father. A new hope. Watch General Hospital weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Oh, gourmet deliciousness. I want you tonight. Wish granted. Lean Cuisine has a fresh new bag. Lean Cuisine Market Creation Steam Meals, like new chicken poblano with tender white meat chicken, crisp veggies in a savory cheddar sauce. New from Lean Cuisine. Welcome to Glad TV. Thanks, Skylar. Let's go to Last Night's Highlights. There's Mom and Dad cleaning up. And there's the meatloaf. Yuck. Look what sometimes happens with the ordinary bag. It flips. Oh, bingo. Falls in. Mom was mad. Mom should have used Glad Force Flex with the stretchable drawstring that grips the can and stays in place. Plus, it has the stretchable strength of Force Flex. That's all today for Glad TV. Don't get mad, get Glad! Those are my demands. And as those demands are men, I eat one of the hostages. Psst. I think he's gonna eat Gary. talking about General Hospital's Sean Butler. Patricia Rich posted on Facebook, he is a good-looking bad boy with a good side. I'm really digging this one. Elizabeth Cross agrees. Oh, yes, he is a sexy man. Sookie Williams Ellis adds, I trust my eyes when I look at him, and they like what they see. Judy McCoy says, good choice, GH. And Kathleen Hahn sums it up. So damn hot. People are talking about General Hospital. Weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. The minute he walked in, I knew he was trouble. Yeah, the best kind of trouble. Easy there, fella. The Jackal had a story to tell. And I had a typewriter. The Secret Life of Damien Spinelli, as told to Diane Miller. It's Port Charles' worst nightmare come true. Shocking secrets. 
unbelievable scandals, run-on sentences. And the rest, as they say, is history. The Secret Life of Damien Spinelli, now available at abc.com and wherever books are sold. Being a mother can be very rewarding. Motherhood changes everything. Just ask the women of The View. The biggest lesson any child teaches their mother is it's not all about you. I fully believe in mother's intuition. I know when my baby just needs to get on my lap and he needs some mother love. With your children, you learn diplomacy. But with adults, you have to practice it. It's a mom's view. The trick is to have one less tantrum than your child. The View, weekdays only on ABC. get my dress crinkled. You see how I've changed? Yeah, I think you have changed. You've been happier in the last couple of weeks than you've been in months. Yeah, I know. So, what are you sad about now? Well, I, uh, I kind of had a fight with Sheila. Oh, fights can be made up. Look at us. Yeah, but, uh, not this one. Well, what sort of fight is it? Um, what was it about? It was about you, actually. About me? Yeah. See, uh, Sheila started this whole big routine about how she didn't think that you were qualified, uh, you know, to run for Congress. And she wasn't going to vote for you in the primary. <laughs> oh, boy. So, uh, I had to, uh, pick between you and her. You know? I'm glad I picked you. Well, so <laughs> am I. Mm. Because you're the most important thing in my whole life. You and, and the family and... <laughs> we're gonna be all right. I mean, you think we're gonna make it? Sure, of course we are. Do you really mean that? Do you? I can't think of any reason why not. Good. Because that's what I want. Thank you. Well, our, our marriage has to work. Yeah. It has to work. <laughs> but on the other hand, I, I don't want you to lose friends over me. Huh? Well, I'm thinking about your friend, Sheila. Do you know what I do when there's someone who's absolutely opposed to me? No. Well, in the campaign for city council last year, Bill Fleming caused me more grief than Vince Bogardus' whole organization. And you know what I did the morning after I won? No. I called Bill, and I, I congratulated him on how he'd stuck to his guns and really made things tough for me. And I, I said if there was anything that I could do for him, I hoped he wouldn't hesitate to call. But Bill was against you. That was last time. Now he's one of my biggest supporters. <laughs> so why don't you try to make this thing up with uh, your friend Sheila? Try it. How? Well, just try to make it up with her. Don't lose friends over a campaign like this one. With a little luck, you'll come out with a friendship intact, and eh, maybe next time I'll get Sheila's vote. Somehow, I don't think so. Hmm? But you got my vote. And that's something that you can count on. Got to be in here. I know this is where I put it. Oh. There's no way she isn't going to like this. In Port Charles, revenge is a priority, relationships are disposable, and good medical care is a necessity. Keep up with this fast-paced city with an all-new episode of General Hospital, weeknights at 10 on SoapNet.